from Limburger and I play guitar. Yes. Well, we are in your home country, Norway. Yep. Correct. And um, I have so many questions for you because you're so multi-talented, multi-faceted. I know you have a lot of things going on. Um, firstly, I wanted to talk about uh, Northern Night Clothing Company mm -hmm. and what, you know, of course, my first question before you go into this, uh, this clothing company is, how does it feel to be successful in your music career so you can evolve forward, do other projects, and you can afford, I mean, not literally, uh, afford the time to facilitate a vision? I mean, everybody's dream is to be so successful at their craft so that they can do other things that they've always wanted to do. So. I guess really my question is, how does it feel to have evolved so much as an artist that you can do all of these things? Well, it just, um, uh, I think it's just being really grateful for uh, what I have achieved with my music and uh, with that comes a lot of uh, good things, you know, and um, I see an opportunity and uh, I'd rather take that opportunity and regret it later than uh, Regret not taking it. Not taking you know? it. Should have, I would have, I could have. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, um, no, when it came to this uh, Northern Night clothing in particular, that was uh, something uh, a friend of mine had in mind for a while, and um, he wanted me in on it, and uh, thought it was a good idea. So, we basically just wanted to start out really uh, easily, you know, with just regular uh, shirts and stuff, and then. Uh, the idea later is to uh, to go into fully designing different types of, of clothes, right. you know. So we'll see where uh, that takes us. But it's it's always cool to do something different on the side, right. and uh, I have a lot of great contacts in the business, and uh, you know, um, maybe it's it's a good thing to uh, to evolve. You know, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So with uh, with that being said. I know you have a lot of different projects going on beyond Northern Night Clothing Company. What are some of the projects you're doing? Well, um, of course, we're always writing music, you know, uh, for uh, for a new demon album, and uh, I have uh, written most of the music finished for uh, the next Insidious Disease album, um, and yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on and. Uh, Time flies by, and Absolutely. Uh, before you know it, it's like yeah, four years since we released the last demo album. Right. And, uh, usually, we take uh, a couple of years in between each release, but now it's gone uh, a bit too long, I think. So. Right, right. Good but um, we have no rush really because it's uh, we rather take our time and, and and make an album that we can fully appreciate and exactly. stand behind. You know, right. so. Um, Will, uh, will come when it's due. So what I think, uh, what I think is also really interesting is someone that travels as much as you do uh, and has as many, you know, go-to contacts and kind of family members all around the world. Where else do you consider home other than, of course, Norway? Do you well, have actually, uh, I'm, you know, I like to travel. Um, I don't particularly like waiting around in the airports, but right. uh, <laughs> who does? You know? Right. Um, no, I like to, to see different cultures, uh, experience different new food, cuisine, you know, and, uh, and as I say, um, yeah, you meet friends, uh, you're bonding with people from all parts of the world, which is uh, awesome. And uh, even if you don't see each other for maybe years and years, it feels like, yeah, last week whenever you meet up so well these people affect your life and you affect their lives so mm -hmm. much that you always have that connection just like when you come to a festival like inferno right. things like that you, you connect with people on a deep level mm -hmm. so it's really nice to be yeah for sure reunited with them yeah yeah and uh, i mean i always uh like talking to fans you know uh, of the shows and right. to see their opinion about what we do you know because that's important it's important to uh to have that connection with with the people that actually make it, so you can actually do what you do, you know, and uh, that's uh, yeah, it's always important for me. 
I think people, uh, I know I can appreciate that. Um, receiving feedback after doing something for so long, after pioneering, you know, in a music genre, evolving in different bands, even something like the clothing company, you're doing so many things and you have a very loyal fan base around basically everything you're doing. And I'm sure maybe there are some naysayers, oh, well, I'm so stuck on this band and he should be in this band. But you constantly have to move around and kind of change characters. Um, well, I think I'm going off on a tangent here, but, de <laughs> but definitely um, it's so important to get feedback, especially when you've been doing this so long. I've been there, done that, I've traveled here, I've played this show, I've been in this country. So it's just so cool that you accept information from people and it motivates you. I yeah, sure. You. I mean, if, if, you, if you start putting limits on the stuff, then you might as well quit because that's when you, yeah, it's to see uh, an opportunity and, uh, and go for it, you know. And, uh, that's how it's been for me. Well, being a musician and being an artist can be a very selfish process. It, it is a selfish process, and it, and it has to be a selfish right. process. It's just like if you, if you want to uh, get something done 100%, uh, uh, you have to sacrifice a lot of other stuff that maybe people take for granted, you know? And, uh, but uh, it's like an athlete, you know? If you want to be the best, you have to sacrifice, and you have yeah. to feed that ego, but it doesn't mean that you should uh, use the ego to, to be an asshole, you know, because you're already born with one, so... Yeah, and we've got plenty to. of them around. That's true, Definitely. Yeah. So, um, no, but uh, when you when you do a project, you, you need full attention and focus to it, and uh, otherwise it's not gonna... you're gonna regret it later, right. you know. Well, I think it's fantastic. You always have to have a home, uh, work, balance, and still be very connected. And it seems like you're very good at doing that, and you're very good at what you do in Thank all you. arenas. So I have a lot of respect for you, and I know people all over the world.